I wanted to use the super slow motion video of this Samsung Galaxy A71. But the problem is, this phone will only take 0.8 second video each time. That is a split of a second only, and you need great precision to capture the exact, high speed event you wanted to capture. Most of the time you will miss the event. In this video, I will show you how I created a DIY shutter release cable for smartphone for that purpose and capture super slow motion events using Samsung Galaxy A71. This is the shutter release cable for DSLR camera and I want to build one for smartphones. The advantage of having a shutter release cable is that, you can have a steady smartphone during shoot. And it will not move or wiggle since you do not have to push the touch screen with your hand. Also, it becomes possible to integrate this shutter release with my smart trigger, the one I am using with high speed photography. It means I can trigger the shutter release cable with my Arduino based smart trigger kit, and I can use sensors. I can freely set the, the timing when to turn on the super slow motion camera, and I can capture those high speed events in slow motion more accurate than ever. Let us do some hack. I am going to use this Samsung headset for that purpose. The jack has four terminals called the TRRS. I am going to hack this headset and try if I can convert into a shutter release cable. I am sorry headset, I have to cut you now. I am now going to strip the outer cover. Ok we got here for wires. They are covered with some high strength fibers and we have to remove them. I'm going to unwind the fibers using my hand to easily remove them later. To remove them, we have to burn them using this lighter. By burning it, we can remove the fibrous material, covering the copper wire, as well as burn the enamel coating for easier soldering later. Ok, let us identify which wire is connected to the TRRS jack. I'm gonna use this multi-tester to check continuity. The jack has four terminals namely the left audio, right audio, common ground and the microphone. I will need only the ground and microphone wire for this project. Based from the continuity checking, the brown wire is connected to the common ground. And the blue color is the microphone. 
So these are the two wires which I will use in this hack. This is the circuit for activating the smartphone camera, through the TRRS jack. We have to connect a certain value of resistor between the microphone and the ground. If you just short them without any resistance, the smartphone will do other things such as opening Bixby for Samsung smartphones. This is how the Android phones are programmed. Therefore our task here is to determine what value of resistor will turn on the camera. I have here a set of resistors which I bought from Shopee Philippines. I am going to test several values of resistors like 22 ohms, 220 ohms, 680 ohms, 1K, 2K and 10K ohms. Let me write this into a table in my notebook, in order to record the result. First, let us try 22 ohms resistor. I am going to connect the two wires into this resistor. Oops. This value of resistor is also activating Samsung Virtual Assistant which is Bixby. It means this is similar to a shorted connection, wherein the resistor value is zero. Let us try next the 220 ohms value. Wow, it is now taking picture. Can you see the screen capturing an image? I am going to change the camera from photo to video, and let us see if it will be activated. Let us try again. Wow, video was also activated, when I connect the resistor. Take note that video will continue to record, and it will only stop if I connect again the resistor. So this means it will need two signals, one signal for the turn on and another for the turn off of the video. Let me record the result in my notebook. I want also to try putting the camera mode to slow motion and super slow motion mode and check if they will be activated. First let us try the slow motion mode. I have now confirmed that this resistor is also working with slow motion mode. Next, let us try the super slow motion mode. As expected. This is also working on this mode. Next, I also tried 680 ohms and 1k ohms and both are ok. I wonder what value of resistance will not work? So I will try a higher value which is 10k. I will now try connecting the 10k ohms. There is no response from the phone. This means 10k will not work. I will try using a lower value which is 2k ohms. If you remember, 1k is ok. So how about a value of 2k? I do not have an exact value of 2k resistor, so I will use the nearest which is the 2.2 kilo ohms. Same with the 10k, the 2.2k is also not working. This means that the smartphone camera, will only work for resistor value between 220 to 1k ohms. For this hack. I will use the value in the middle, which is the 680 ohms. Let us now solder the connectors. These are the wires connected to the microphone and ground of the TRRS jack. I got mixed up here and the color of the wire got reversed. The black wire is actually the microphone wire and the red is the ground. This is the 680 ohms resistor we will use and the multimeter says this is correct. We are going to connect the resistor to any of the wires. First, let us insert the cover of the male mono jack into the wires. I'm going to fix the mono male jack to this mini vise. 
I will now solder the resistor to the shorter terminal of the jack, and this will be soldered to the black wire later. The longer terminal is usually the ground, therefore I will solder the red wire here. After the soldering, the mail plug looks like this. I will need to insulate the two soldered wires to prevent short. This is now the finished shutter release cable with mono jack terminal. This mail jack will be used to connect this shutter to my high speed photography trigger. Later, I will fabricate another connector with a manual push button switch for this, in case I want to use it in manual mode. I will now create the push button connector for this shutter release. Materials needed will be a normally open push button, a female mono jack, wires and some recycled cylindrical enclosures. I will use this Crayola case as enclosure for the switch. This is too long so I will shorten it by cutting around here. I can use that cut end as enclosure for the female mono jack. I will have to fix the switch inside the enclosure with a hot glue later. I'm going to use this speaker wire. Let us solder the wires to the switch. This is now the completed push button connector. This is the shutter release cable I created a while ago and this is the push button. The other end of this is a female mono jack. This is the second cable I made from the headset. The other end is connected to the smartphone headphone jack, and the other end is a male mono jack. I can connect this male jack to my smart trigger if I want the trigger to be automatic. But first, let us try manual triggering so I will connect this male jack to the female jack. Let us try if this is working. Ok, I have confirmed that it is working. Let us try the super slow motion mode. This is also working perfectly. Our manual shutter release button is now ready. Next, I will check if my smart trigger can turn on the release cable. As you can see, I have dismantled my smart trigger here, 
In order to change the Arduino code in order to make this compatible with the shutter release cable. Based from my testing, the smartphone camera cannot be triggered at 10 microsecond pulse. My old code triggers only the output for 10 microseconds so I have to revise it to a longer trigger pulse of about 100 microseconds. I will connect now the shutter release cable. The TRRS jack to the Galaxy A71 and the other male jack to my smart trigger. Let us also connect the sound sensor. I will now create a noise by clapping my hand and see if the smartphone camera will be triggered. OK, my Galaxy A71 was triggered by the sound, and successfully took one super slow motion clip. Let me check another sensor, this time I will connect a photo gate sensor. This photo gate will be triggered when an object interrupts the infrared signal on the gate. I will now try to interrupt the gate. Wow, the smartphone was triggered and successfully took a super slow motion video. This means I can use this to capture slow motion video later. Here is my setup for a water balloon popping. I will use the DIY shutter release cable I fabricated to capture this event. First. Let us try if the shutter release cable is working. OK it is working. I will now do the actual popping of this balloon. I will use a needle, and will manually puncture it from the right side. Here it goes. Let us see the super slow motion video at 240 frame per second. The Samsung Galaxy A71 can shoot slow motion at 120 fps and super slow motion at 240 fps. Next, we will do actual shooting using automatic camera triggering using my smart trigger. For this, I will use a strawberry dropped in a bowl with milk. A laser sensor will detect the falling strawberry and will trigger my Samsung Galaxy A71 via the shutter release cable. This is an automated way of doing it. I will adjust the light and position it nearer to the bowl. We need as much light as possible for slow-mo videos. I will now drop the strawberry, making sure that it falls through the laser beam sensor to ensure detection. Here it goes. Let us replay the recorded super slow motion video. Wow, it perfectly captured the milk splash. This is the replay of the super slow motion. That's all guys. And I do hope you learned something from this tutorial. Please give me like, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel if you find this helpful. Bye bye.